Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this particular video, what we're going to be doing is focusing on Microsoft Publisher 2010, which is a desktop publishing software. So you can do your newsletters, leaflets, flyers, posters, greetings cards, other sort of documents in that software. This is going to be a basic video showing you the basic tools and features. So if you haven't used this software before, it will help you out to get to grips on how to use or how to navigate. Uh, from feature to feature. So let's open up Microsoft Publisher 2010. When you open up Microsoft Publisher 2010, this will be the screen you will see. Um, you are under the File option, New section here. So the top section, you can choose um, a blank document which is Portrait, a blank document which is Landscape, more blank sizes if you want to be specific in terms of your page sizes. You can choose any template which you've created and saved. Uh, before in the past you can choose from the most popular templates so brochures business cards calendars so on and so forth here and down here in the third section you can download more templates from office.com in this specific video what we're going to be doing first and foremost is opening up a blank portrait document which is standard size a4 so click on that and it will open up your standard A4 document. Let's, for example, say you are doing a one page flyer um, for a promotion. Let's say I'm promoting my RA solution, so I want to do a one page flyer here. Uh, the first thing you'll notice in this blank page canvas is the grid line. So, this blue grid line here. So, when you do print your work off or you print this document on, you should know that anything beyond this point this blue line will not print so first and foremost insert draw text box that's what you need to do to add some text you need to draw a text box and you can add your text there RA solutions to get this text in the middle it works similar to word you highlight the text um, you can choose center line here the top one and it will keep it on the top line if you choose the middle one it will move it down in the middle of this box bottom one It'll still be the middle, but it'll be at the bottom. I want to choose the top one here. Okay, um, change the size of it here. Choose a bigger number to make it bigger, smaller number to make it smaller. We want it really big. Let's go up to 72, like that. Okay, um, change the RA bit here. The A with the color underneath. Click on the arrow. Choose a color red. I'm just keeping to my color schemes. And then blue. there you go. That's to my color schemes there. You can also go to insert. Uh, and choose word art but for me um, if I was doing the leaflet flyer for me word art I don't think it's that professional it is for kids but if you're doing a professional leaflet for adults for your professional business uh, I would suggest very much against choosing word art there okay click off it so let's say you want to insert a picture keep on the insert ta um, tab here and the top ribbon click on picture here and you got lots of different pictures to choose from. Let me go into my YouTube folder. Um, let's go to RA Solutions. Let's see if there's any icons I can use. There you go. That's my specific YouTube icon. I can make it smaller. Okay, so I go to the edge of the picture, drag it down to make it smaller here. And what I can do also is maybe delete this text because, yeah, that. RA will duplicate whatever's there anyway. Move it across. There you go. Okay, so what you can also do is insert and go to clip art. There's lots of different clip art images you can choose on the right side. You need to do specify what type of clip art you want. There you go. There's lots of clip arts involving computers or somebody using a computer there. You just click on it. Oh, there you go. So that's my clip art there. Move it across. Choose a different one. There we go. Might, might put these up the bottom right in corner here okay so on and so forth yeah so I'm just showing you um, adding how to add different features on here now a table if you want a table you can choose a different size table let's choose um, a different different rows and different colors you can drag the table up at the top let's say I want a big title here highlight all those rows merge there we go while so it's under the layout option merge cells there um, contents or something okay so what you can do is again merge these together 
merge these together and so on and so forth you can play around with it you can add your own styles on the table later on if you want to let's go to here click on the table itself go to design you can change the style of your table yeah okay you can highlight it again change it further so you know you can play around with it to your heart's content whatever you find is easier for you can do okay so that's a quick and easy way on how to make a start uh, into creating your own flyer in Microsoft Publisher let's go back and let's choose a template this time so if you go to file go to new let's choose um, a greetings card let's say it's somebody's birthday it will load up lots of different templates for greeting cards you've got birthday ones here you've got some example holiday ones different occasion ones here let's say it's your parents anniversary let's choose this one click on create here and what it will do it will put all the pages there for you one two three this is um, two page spread and the last page there so it's got all the necessary pages there you can customize this to whatever you want um, again here you can change the image you can add your own image in there you can change these honestly that's how easy straightforward this is and once you're happy file print choose which printer you want it to go to obviously and choose if you want it in grayscale black and white or choose if you want it in color by choosing composite RGB which is red green blue so um, in my other videos I'm going to show you go into advanced features of publisher this was just a, a quick overview of Microsoft publisher 2010 I hope this video helped you in understanding the basic uh, features tools or some of the most commonly used basic uh, features and tools used in Microsoft Publish 2010. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.